Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Welcome to A Day in the Life. This is episode 18 of A Day in the Life, and for those of you who aren't familiar with this segment, uh, A Day in the Life, I get to pretty much talk about what I want to talk about. Other days I have specific topics, but Wednesdays, which is today, is A Day in the Life. Now, in the past, I've, last week, for instance, I taught you how to make a chocolate roulade. Uh, once I took you to QVC, and uh, once I took you driving in my car, I mean, I do a lot of things. Today's topic, fast food. Yep, what I like, what I don't like. Now, this is not a scientific comparison of fast food restaurants. It's just my opinion. Um, I would say, as far as, let's rate burgers, okay? I would say the best burger on the East Coast, which is where I live, um, is Five Guys. Five Guys Burgers, I think, is the best burger on the East Coast as far as fast food burgers. After that, I would say Wendy's. Um, then probably Jake's Wayback, which is a smaller chain, but they have good burgers. Um, I would say probably the worst burger on the East Coast is McDonald's. I'm not really pleased with McDonald's. Way too fast food, way too... And it never... You never notice on the commercials... What you see on the commercial is never what it looks like. You get this really big, juicy burger with this lettuce hanging off. And when you get to the restaurant, it's all smashed down and you can't see any lettuce. And anyway, I digress. Um, I would say probably the most innovative fast food restaurant here on the East Coast would probably be Boston Market. Because you can get chicken, you can get meatloaf, you can get ham. I mean, it's a, it's a totally different variety of foods. And for those of you who have not had Boston Market, you should try it if you like fast food. Um, Boston Market, by the way, I believe is owned by McDonald's, uh, which is, they bought it a few years ago. <clears throat> McDonald's used to also have a pizza place around the area called Donato's. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it was the only time I've ever not liked pizza. It was awful. I remember my son and I went there when it first opened. I said, oh, good, we're going to get a pizza. And we sat there and... Now, pretty bad. And I'm pretty lenient when it comes to pizza. And it was awful. Luckily, they closed down and there's no more Donato's around here. But uh, yeah, try Boston Market. Um, but, you know, the best burger on the planet, as far as I'm concerned, is one I can't get. Because it's out on the West Coast. It's called In-N-Out Burger. It's wonderful. And they don't have much of a menu. They serve burgers and fries and shakes and soda. And that's it. No salads, no chicken sandwiches, no McNuggets or chicken nuggets or chicken parts or anything. Just burgers, fries, shakes, soda. That's it. But they have secret menu that they don't publish that people can order things a different way. They go up and say, yes, I'd like a burger animal style. Now, I don't know what that means. You'll have to look it up yourself. I mean, you have to do some work for yourself. I'm just here spouting what I believe is true. But yeah, I think probably part of the allure of the In-N-Out Burger is that I can't get it here on the East Coast. So I always, when I go to California, always, always go to In-N-Out Burger. Um, but, you know, that's my comment here on fast food. So this is David Hale for Tech Dive TV and A Day in the Life. Go ahead, try some fast food. Bye.